this is important horror community, well, just book community information. Uh, so please watch the entire video. Um, I have all my sources cited down there in the description. Uh, so if you want to check on any of this stuff, you can go do it. And there will be images popping up all throughout this video showing you uh, what I'm talking about when I hit certain topics. And Shane Staley, if you come across this, I told you I would be here if you resurfaced. And I'm a man of my word. Okay, so in uh, the fall or winter of 2016, uh, Shane Staley of Dark Fuse uh, contracted with me to uh, produce a serialized version of my novella, Fairy Lights. And then the following May, I believe it was, uh, the book was going to be coming out in uh, hard, hard format, a small hardcover. It was part of a, I believe, a 24-piece collection, it might have been 12, um, of novellas that he pre-sold on his website uh, for $300. Uh, every single person, from what I understand, they, it was numerous, numerous people, um, all, all that money was just gone. Um, so he, he ran off to the bank with that money. Um, he, he didn't finish the series. In fact, I think he only printed four. I could be wrong. Um, I'm getting conflicting stuff. I believe there was two before mine, and then mine and another one. I think there was only four. Um, and then in, I sent him an email. I believe it was in, in around May, uh, when I could expect, no, my book came out in March. My apologies. Uh, in May, asking about my royalties. I never heard from him. Uh, and then in August, after multiple uh, attempts to contact him, he sent out a broad generalized letter that Dark Fuse was going bankrupt. Now, I'm all for second chances, but Dark Fuse was the second chance. He, he did this first off with Delirium Books. Um, he did the same thing. He screwed his customers, screwed the authors, and then he restarted Dark Fuse and he gave people credit for, I guess, Dark Fuse titles. Um, if any of this information is wrong, um, I apologize. I've been talking to customers and to authors uh, of both companies. Now, Dark Fuse, I know for certain that uh, when he he said he was going to give out a $300 credit or however much was, was left, I guess prorated, <laughs> as it was a $300 credit to those who had signed up for the uh, novella series, the $300 novella series. Um, all that, once again just went completely to pot because in August of 2017 Dark Fuse went under, went bankrupt, and we all got uh, bankruptcy filing papers. So, um, how, how, does, <laughs> how does credit to a company that no longer exists help? It does not help. Well, why are we here? We are here today because I received a, uh, a DM this morning on Twitter that uh, Shane Staley is back under the guise of Indie Muse and his own website, Staley and Associates. I, I'm, I'm probably more angry than I should be, or maybe it is a rational anger, because he had the audacity to put my book, Fairy Lights, that he never paid me a single royalty on. He did pay me in advance, and if you read my blog post, blog post down there, sorry, I'm a little upset, if you read my blog post down there, you'll see... The, the timeline of events. I wrote that way back in 2017 when this first happened. There's even the letter that he sent out about the bankruptcy. I linked to that, and it is the link is still live. So you can go check it, read it for yourself. Um, uh, trying, trying to collect myself here. My apologies. Um, so the book came out and I uh, serialized in November. Uh, once it was serialized, like I said, it was supposed... So, before I got the first dime for my book, it was already up on Dark Fuse's website. That was that should have been the number one thing. Uh, it should have been, uh, you know, number one uh, clue that, you know, he, before he even paid me my advance, which I had to fight for, all that stuff's in the blog post. Uh, before he even paid me my advance, my work was up on his website. Um, I took him for his word because he did have... I didn't know about Delirium when I signed my contract. So, that that's my bad. Had I known about Delirium, I never would have went with him. Uh, he talked a good game. 
uh, he said that he, you know, best in the business, all that stuff. But, I mean, he was just a braggart. He was a liar, all that stuff. Um, he has been contacting uh, reviewers and, uh, and companies. Uh, he contacted Sadie of Nightworms. And all of her reviewers, I believe, I could be wrong about that, but she, he did contact Sadie, uh, co-owner of Nightworms, uh, Sadie Hartman, and sent her an email uh, stating that he would like to do some uh, promotion for her, um, some syndication from, for her, and so on and so forth. The man is such a narcissistic nitwit that he had the, has the audacity to put not only his name, but his picture up on his websites. Now the reason, the, the main reason why this was so upsetting is because the same month that he filed for bankruptcy, the exact same month, he opened up a tennis lesson school, or he opened up a company doing tennis lessons. He didn't have enough money to pay his authors. He didn't have enough money to do anything as far as Dark Fuse was concerned, but he had enough money to start up a tennis company business. I don't know if that, if that business is still around. He probably bankrupt that one also. Um, allegedly, he used all the money from Dark Fuse to open up the tennis uh, stuff. And I say allegedly because that's the only thing that I cannot confirm at this point. All I know is that he 100% opened up a tennis company right after uh, the bankruptcy. The same month that the bankruptcy went through with Dark Fuse. In fact, it might have been before. Um, so, yeah, if you get an email from Indie Muse, uh, stay away from this guy. Uh, stay away from his company, anybody associated with him. Authors, do not send your books to this guy. It might go well for a little while, but he will eventually crumble. As far as reviewers are concerned, trust me, you do not want to be associated with this person. Whew. Um, if you would like to, I, I know multiple, multiple people that he has screwed over. Um, if he screwed you over, please, please con uh, comment down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, and, and tell us your story, uh, go all in. I don't care. Say whatever you want about the guy. I don't care. Um, put all that stuff down there. Um, if, if you would like more information as far as screenshots or, or, or whatever, you can contact me myself. Um, but all this stuff is still online because, like I said, he's such a narcissist that he, he, he didn't take anything down. And I mean, is it, how stupid, Shane, if you've made it to the... How stupid do you think people are? As stupid as you... That's how it feels, but we're not. Um, we're not going to fall for it again, and me, Brian Keane, yes, Brian Keane, Sadie Hartman of uh, Nightworms, Mother Horror, we're all going to be spreading the word as much as humanly possible. Every time I see you pop back up, I will be here. I promise you that. Anyways, so that's all I have for today. Once again, I'm completely open to comments. I'm completely open to inquiries, any number of those things I have I have uh, stuff to back up everything that I've said in this video, <laughs> but uh, please, I, the last thing I want to I, I want to express here is do not work with this man. This is not a second chance scenario. This is third chance. He has proven time and time again that he cannot run a business successfully. In fact, he paid me my advance out of his own pocket. Anyways, so uh, yeah, you guys take care of yourself. <laughs> and Shane, if you're watching this. Go fuck yourself, man.